Police in Ferguson, Missouri complained about imbalance in news coverage when they killed unarmed teen Michael Brown or their militarized response to protests. Police often complain about media bias against them. In assessing those claims, I think you should consider not just particular events, but the general cultural context, uh, like TV cop shows. Cop shows are a staple of pop culture and always sympathize with cops. Their stress, hard home lives, onerous civil rights laws, we see it all from their point of view. If there's a bad cop, a standard plot line, uh, he's a bad apple and the good cops out him. Critical reports on Ferguson or the Star series on carding get consumed within this overall sympathetic context. Uh, police may have been spoiled by that kind of bias. Just last week, while Ferguson raged, I watched an episode of Taxi Brooklyn, a good new cop show. Uh, the police were besieged in their own precinct by heavily armed street kids who totally outgunned them. The opposite of Ferguson's reality. So don't just be alert to bias in news stories. Be alert to subtler biases that might also affect us. By the way, you can apply this approach to other stories, like Gaza or Ukraine. For the star.com, I'm Rick Salutin.